You may have seen him on TV, you may have read about him in the newspapers, you may even have voted for him, but get to talk to 2009 CNN hero Efren Peña Florida, Cabo by in LA starts right now. Advance happy Thanksgiving everyone. We have a lot to be thankful for. We have to adopt this attitude of gratitude. At ngayong hapon sa Kababayan LA, we're going to be doing that talk Tuesday today on the show, but on Thursday, unfortunately Thanksgiving, we won't have a show. Kaya mawawalan po tayo dapat ng Hollywood buzz sa ating Nepalese reports. So don't worry because we have that right about now. Let's talk Hollywood with the Nepalese reports. <laughs> Janet Nepal is joining us on the phone. Hello, welcome to Cabo Bay in LA and happy Thanksgiving to you, Miss J. Same to you, Janelle. Pag-usapan natin yung mga movies na lalabas very, very soon. You know what? I am so excited because a lot of uh, high caliber movies coming out. First of all, yung Harry Potter, they're saying that uh, it will surpass Star Wars for biggest uh, for being the biggest uh, film franchise of all time. Yeah, I, I, I believe that too kasi second to the last na ng franchise ito. Kaya excited na ang Harry Potter. Potter farm, farms to watch it. Right now, 1.7 billion ang, ang, Harry, ang Harry Potter ang hinahabol nila as you, ay yung Star Wars, 1.9 billion for sure it's gonna surpass. Ms. J, what do you think is the secret of Harry Potter na usually, di ba, ang mga sequels nagpa-flop, hindi na masyado, you know, the first one is always the, the best one. Pero ito, parang it keeps sustaining. Minsan, it, it keeps even getting better. Yeah, because ito yung naging parang cult na rin ito sa mga bata. Excited na sila how this children are growing up also amongst themselves. Kaya excited din sila to see how they're growing in the movie. Ikaw ba, naabutan mo ba yung, ano, yung Star Wars at the, ikaw ba ay Star Wars uh, uh, fan din? Kasi you know what, honestly, ako, hindi, ko, hindi ako nagpa-follow ng Star Wars. Hindi ako masyado nagpa-follow din. <laughs> <Oo>. <laughs> Pero Harry Potter, sinundan mo? Yes. Yes, and ako I, din. I've seen them grow up also, the cast members. All right, yeah, you've seen them grow up. It's very interesting. Let's, uh, next movie for now is uh, Black one everybody is really excited about this natalie portman really exceptional you know there's a buzz that she's going to get nomination for this yeah she she, she did a very good performance here as the black swan and the white swan at the same time because for one year she prepared for this role mm -hmm. as a, a prima ballerina which is a tall order for from darren aronofsky the director yeah. Usually, kasi 20 years and training mo for a ballerina, and she made it in one year. <laughs> yes, and you know, we all know that uh, Natalie Portman is not just an exceptional art, art, art uh, actress also. She's very, very smart actress. But you know what? Uh, very controversial also the movie, not just because of the plot, but also because of her make-out scenes with another female Hollywood star. Yeah, see, uh, Mila Kunis. Actually, the scene is really called for in the movie. According to Mila nga, the sexuality is there for a reason. It's part of the story. It's not for shock value. It's not there to entertain. Kasi parang naging imagination na ni Natalie yun eh. Mm -hmm. It's part of her training from her mentor dun sa movie to uh, be sexually free or liberated. Kasi Hi. para ma-release yung kanyang dark side for the black swan role. <laughs> Alright. O oh, sige, Ms. J, gagamitin natin yung pagka-HFPA mo. Should we watch this on, on uh, in the theaters or should we wait for it on DVD? I I would suggest watch it in the theater. Mm -hmm. You know, because maganda yung mga transformations ni ni uh, Natalie there. And okay. I don't want to go into details. Baka mas spoiler alert sa'yo dyan. Oo nga. O oh, sige, surprise, surprise. This one, I won't need your opinion. I'm definitely gonna watch this in the theater kasi this one stars my boyfriend. Kahit hindi pa niya alam. Pag <laughs> nalaman niya, magsislit na kami. Jake Gyllenhaal and um, Anne Hathaway, Love and Other Drugs. Can you tell us about this movie? Yeah, see, Jake Gyllenhaal here is a, like a Viagra salesman. It's based on a true story. And then he is courting uh, Anne Hathaway, who is an artist. And since na in love nga silang dalawa, they spend a lot of time in bed. And according to the, rec the, the director, when two people are in love, they spend a lot of time naked in bed. So that's really? what <laughs> so you're they, gonna see. <laughs> so in the movie, 65% of the movie, they were both naked at pinasampo lang tayo a tease, very, very nicely done cover on Entertainment Weekly. Yes, uh, in fact, tatlong covers yan, iba-ibang shots. They couldn't throw away any of these lovely, fabulous uh, covers. So they, con they put out three different covers that they were naked. 
and according to Jake, they were always very comfortable with each other. Parang because of their musicality and rhythm, daw parang they're dancing all the time, sila ni Anne. Right, and this is the second time that they're doing uh, makeout scenes together in a movie because the first time was Brokeback Mountain. Do you think that contributed to them being comfortable with each other this time around? Yes, um, very comfortable na nga sila. They had experience before, but now they said it, they become deeper. In fact, silang tatlo, the director, Jake, and Anne, became so close to this movie. Kasi pati yung mga sexual positions na gusto nilang pag-usapan, ini-incorporate sa movie. Hala, Miss Jane, <laughs> sexual positions nang pinag-uusapan natin. But they're not together. No, they're not together. They both have their own uh, partners. Hala, so may partner na si Jake. A ah, potential pa lang. A ah, potential pa lang. Pwede pa ako. You know, you have to introduce me to him. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much, Ms. J. Abangan namin ang column mo sa Manila Bulletin and also on Philippine News. Thank you. And happy Thanksgiving to you. Same to you, Janelle. More power. That was Janet De Palace, our kababayan in the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. When we return on the show, ito na po talaga. CNN hero Efren Panel Florida is joining us. And the best thing about this is you get to talk to him. Don't go away.